In 1970, doctors performed a groundbreaking experiment. They removed the head of one monkey and transplanted it onto the body of another. Over the course of 20 hours, they meticulously connected the head and neck tissues. Surprisingly, the monkey survived the procedure. While the surgery was technically successful, the monkey only lived for a few days before passing away. From a modern medical perspective, doctors could theoretically sever your head, along with its nerves and blood vessels, and spend 20 hours reattaching it to another body. Tendons and bones would be carefully disconnected from the original body, allowing the head to be fully separated. Then, in a short amount of time, all tissues would be rapidly transplanted onto the new body. Your brain would eventually wake up in the new body, retaining all your memories and personality. On May 8, 1794, the chemist Antoine Lavoisier was sent to the guillotine. As his head fell, the executioner, following a prior agreement with Lavoisier, observed his reactions. Lavoisier's head blinked repeatedly, 11 times, to be exact, before finally going still. This suggests that in the moments after decapitation, the small amount of blood and oxygen remaining in the brain can sustain brief activity, allowing the brain to function